I am in Vienna, Austria, outside the State Hall of the Austrian National Library. The State Hall is legendary for being one of the most beautiful libraries in the world, so I am really excited to go in and explore it. This is just one section of the massive Austrian National Library, one of the largest libraries in the world. It is technically a part of the Hofburg complex, as it was established by the Habsburgs as their imperial court library way back in 1368. In the early 18th century, the Holy Roman Emperor Carl VI, or Charles VI as we say in English, commissioned the State Hall of the library as a permanent home for his extensive book collection. The Prongs Hall was completed in 1726 and is a classic example of the Baroque style. In fact, it may be one of the most amazing Baroque interiors ever built. Out front, there is a colossal equestrian statue of Joseph II, the Holy Roman Emperor. The eldest son of Franz I and Maria Theresa reigned from 1765 until 1790. He is interesting because he is considered an Enlightenment monarch. This is just one old section of the library. The present day library is located in the Neuerberg wing of the Hofburg, where the Welt Museum is located along with other important collections. There's also the Palais Mollard Clary, an older part of the Hofburg Palace from the 17th century, which now houses a Globe Museum that I hear is really interesting, but I didn't have time to visit it. The grand staircase up to the State Hall is also quite interesting. There are a number of historic steels or historic monuments embedded into the walls of the foyer. I am unsure if these are authentic pieces or not. Carl VI commissioned Johann Bernhard Fischer von Erlach, who had also been a primary architect of Schönbrunn Palace, to design this splendid court library chamber in order to house his book collection. Erlach also designed the Karlskirche here in Vienna around the same time. Alright, this is the State Hall. This is so awesome! This Brook masterpiece is probably the most incredible library room I've ever seen. The State Hall is 80 meters long, that's 262 feet, and the central dome reaches a height of 20 meters, that's 65 feet. The ceiling is entirely covered by elaborate frescoes. Here is the magnificent central rotunda of the State Hall. At the center is a statue of Carl VI, based on a Roman sculpture of Hercules. The Habsburgs love their classics. I'm not sure why Carl is glowing green. The lighting choice is a bit odd. The rotunda fresco is an apotheosis of Carl VI. Thank you. 
That is an awesome 1693 globe. It was created by the famous Venetian cartographer Vincenzo Coronelli and was purchased by Franz I. And here's a giant celestial globe by Coronelli. The State Hall was just renovated in 2022, although there are many books missing from the upper level bookcases, so I'm not sure if it's quite complete. There are many large statues throughout the State Hall of various Habsburg kings before Carl VI. There are actually four authentic Coronelli globes that grace the State Hall. These globes have been here in the State Hall since the mid 18th century. The library is separated by the rotunda into the War and Peace Wings. There are about 200,000 antique books here in the State Hall, some dating from as far back as the 1500s. Many of these books are from the private collection of Prince Eugene, the esteemed commander of the Imperial Army, who also built Belvedere Palace, which I have videos on. The Austrian National Library is filled with all sorts of treasures, and they do display different pieces from their collection during regular themed exhibits in the State Hall. This is the Vienna Dioscurides, a codex made in Constantinople around the year 500. It contains images of 383 alphabetically arranged medicinal plants, with corresponding text from the Greek physician Dioscurides. This manuscript is one of the only surviving roadmaps of antiquity, made in the form of a copy around 1200, but that's still pretty old. This section shows Rome at the bottom right edge, and Vindabona at the top left. That city is now called Vienna.
The current exhibit is primarily about the history of gardening and landscaping. Not the most interesting, but there were a few cool things on display. That is a 1790 illustration of the Marlborough Tower at Marie Antoinette's Hameau de la Reine, a little replica peasant village she built at Versailles. She wasn't out of touch at all. Here's an 1867 plan for the Parc des Buttes Chaumont in Paris, a really innovative urban park built out of a former quarry. That's a 1911 visitor's guide to Schönbrunn Park. Here's a 1792 view over the landscape park of Nuvaldeg in what is now Vienna's 17th district. So that was the State Hall of the Austrian National Library, a Baroque bibliophile's paradise. It was a fantastic experience to go through this magnificent chamber, one of the most beautiful libraries I have ever seen. I would definitely recommend stopping in for yourself while visiting Vienna, though be aware there is an admission charge to visit. I hope you enjoyed the tour. If you did, then please like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel for more. I have videos on all sorts of historic sites and attractions in Vienna, as well as across Europe and the United States. Thank you for watching.